Welcome to Motor Trek. I'm Brett Tax, and I've been in the motorcycle industry for a long time, and I've had the opportunity to work with a lot of prototype products and do a lot of reviews. And in this episode, I have an entire bag full of solutions and innovations that I get to share with you. And we've got all kinds of different neat stuff that we're gonna play with and look at. I appreciate anything that makes my riding more efficient, safer, or just more fun. When I was traveling in Africa, I used an X mount and all of the little rubber pieces came off and I had to bend the tips to hold my phone in place. I think Ram saw what it looked like. They sent me a whole box of new toys to play with. As much as I like my X grip and as good as it works, what I'm missing is wireless charging. So I'm gonna switch up to the quick grip and modify this by adding a wireless charger. And as simple as that, I have a wireless charging phone mount. All right. Well, I've never seen anything quite like this before, Exotog. This is an insulation vest that just uses air to insulate you from the environment. Works on the same principle as uh, down does in a jacket. You have a little air valve. It fills up the jacket, creates a pressure around you, and I hear it doubles as a life preserver. I'm not sure why they give such a large bag, because this packs up really small. I'm not a really big fan of tank bags. They often get in the way, I can't move around so much on the bike, but I do often wanna have things that are quick access, like a camera, and the problem is if I have a camera in my pocket on the bike and I come off and land on that, it can cause injury. So a small bag like the Moscow bag here, this one's called the Pico, might be a perfect solution for having something where you want quick access to something that you don't wanna have on your body. And this one, is just large enough to keep a nice uh, quick point and shoot camera or any other small things that you don't wanna have in your pockets. This is cool because it's totally waterproof and the strap systems will fit any motorcycle. Here's a really neat gadget that came from Al Jesse. It's called the mirror lock. And this plugs in where your old mirror goes and your mirror goes in on this side. It puts some vibration damping in. It gives a little better field of view to the back. But what makes this really neat is it actually has a lock where you can put your D-ring on your helmet and you can lock your helmet up onto the handlebars. For me, that's where I leave my helmet when I charge my radio system. To lock it in, just push the button. It's all locked in. Kind of a neat idea, neat gadget. I am really looking forward to updating my comm system. I've never used mesh technology and Cardo is the pioneer for mesh technology in motorcycle communications. In traditional Bluetooth communication, there's one radio and all the other radios daisy chain into that one radio. And if that radio disappears, communication breaks down. With dynamic mesh communication, or DMC they call it, each radio pairs independently with every other radio that's already been put together. And they pair very, very quickly. So when you break communication, as soon as you come back within range, it immediately reconnects to any other radio that it's already been paired with. The Cardo is waterproof, not just water resistant. And that should be a no brainer for adventure riding. Install complete, total piece of cake. And I am so looking forward to trying out this new radio system. Ryan from Fort9 did a great review on the Cardo. If you haven't already seen it, check it out. All the way from Norway, we have twin pegs. And these are a solution for those tiny little foot pegs that are so often stock on our adventure bikes. Twin pegs may not be an exciting creative name, but it's extremely descriptive because that's what these are. It's a bracket that mounts onto the motorcycle. The factory peg or your aftermarket peg stays in the same location. 
The bracket to the back adds a second foot peg behind it. The idea here is to create more surface area to reduce fatigue. And having a peg rather than a floorboard means that we're not going to pack a bunch of mud and everything else on it. Oh, actually these are, uh, these are nice. I can roll forward, they don't get in the way. I can sit back on top of the heel, it doesn't interfere. But if I drop my heel, it just allows me to relax and drop onto that rear peg. I never would have thought of this. These are kind of neat. When picking out eye protection, there's some very critical things I want in my eye protection. It needs to be actual impact rated so that I know that it's going to protect me if there's a problem. They need to be comfortable. I'm looking that they slide in and out of the helmet comfortably and they're not pinching my ears. And most importantly, I want to make sure that they're not polarized. It creates a, an irritating rainbow effect on my gauges of my helmet. But most importantly, I want to see those reflections from oil and antifreeze and water on the road for safety. These do all of that. Here's one of my favorite solutions to wet feet since motocross boots are almost never waterproof. These are called seal skins and these are 100% waterproof socks. I started using these back when I was doing kayaking. Fantastic product. I'm really glad to be part of an industry that's innovative and that's constantly changing and evolving to make adventure riding more fun and safer.